And tonight we're going to begin the, the presentation with a special memorial tribute to two very special people who we lost in our community. The first memorial tribute um, is for our good, good friend for many years, Irving Malinowitz. Most of us here tonight joined Base Torah after it was created, and we reaped the benefits of a ready-made wonderful shul and community. But Irving was one of those people who helped make Base Torah great. I once had to introduce Irving at a function, and I remember he said to me, well, whatever you say, please don't call me a pillar. So I'm not gonna call him a pillar, but he was a tremendous community leader. He was a good friend to many. And on a personal note, he did many wonderful things for our family, and I know for many other families here. So I'd like you to please enjoy the next video. The outstanding quality of Bay Stora over all of its years has been the wonderful people that have frequented and have built the shul. Uh, the backbone of the Bay Stora has always been the quality of its membership, of the people who come, of its commitment and mission to Torah, to prayer, to kindness and goodness towards others. And even though many, many people are different, uh, the commonality of vision and of purpose is what always made and makes based over a very special place. One of those people was our dear friend, Evelyn Kranzler. She was a woman of great discernment, of intellect, of a sharp eye, of being able to recognize and to appreciate Torah greatness and to be a wonderfully good person. She was a very good friend of mine and of my family. She and Moshe all the years were backbones of our show. Uh, the last years, so she unfortunately had physical problems, but she never wavered in her spirit. Uh, she never lost her sense of propriety and the vision. She was the daughter of a rabbi. She carried that tradition with her throughout her life and imparted it to her family, to the generations that she was privileged to see. And she was really one of the outstanding people that uh, made based over what it is. And she is therefore very sorely missed. Irving Malinowitz, who came to our synagogue also practically at the beginning of the existence of the synagogue, he uh, was a person of charity and of worth. He was a great Balkore. He loved to read the Torah and he loved the Torah. And he felt that it was almost a mutual love between him and the Torah itself. He was a very astute businessman, a very clever person, also a person that understood people and had a sense of mission and never wavered, never gave up and never felt somehow that good deeds would be wasted and were of no consequence to him. Good deeds were the most important thing that existed. And he and Ruthie and their family were pillars of Bastora. And his place is sorely missed not only by his family and friends, but by the general community as well. So may their memory be a blessing for all of us who knew them and who appreciated them and who loved them and may based over to continue and in their memory be stronger and greater than ever before. Yesterday in Shul, we read Pasha's Emor. Pasha's Emor begins with a directive, Emor Valmarta, which Rashi comments means Lahansir Hagdolim Alaktan. To warn us and warn the old about the young. I would like to offer a homiletic interpretation of Rashi. Perhaps Lahansir Hagdolim Alaktanin 
means to warn those who are older to remember the vigor of youth, to remember the vision of youth, to remember to have hope, to have vision, and to have a drive to shape the future. One thing that stands out in my mind about our dear friend Irving Malinowitz, all of us shalom, is the fact that till the day he passed away, he kept his youthful vigor. He may have been physically weakened, but his strength, his vision, his hope, his optimism never faded. Irving was always laughing, schmoozing, talking, always a warm smile, a gentle touch, and always looking towards the future. His vision helped create the shape of our shul as it is today. He's one of the founding members. He brought the character and he brought the quality to what is our shul. That vision often fades when people get older. With him it did not. With his Aishas Chayel Ruth at his side, they built communities before they came to Muncie. They helped build the community in Fairlawn, New Jersey. And then they built our community here. And throughout their lives together, they saw the future. They built NCSY. They built the next generation to Torah and Mitzvos. And always with kindness, with compassion, with vision, and with hope. Irving was a Balkore who was unparalleled. His expertise, his comfort, his ability, unmatched. He was a student of the giants of the last Torah generation and was comfortable in recalling memories of his youth and his interactions with them. But most important, Irving was a friend. And everybody in the shul, in the community, and I would dare say in the world that came into his circle, saw him as a friend, felt his friendship, felt his warmth, felt his love, and felt his caring. That friendship is and will be sorely missed. But we need to carry on that legacy, to carry on his warmth, to carry forward his friendship, and to make sure that the vision with which he shaped our shul carries forward to the future generations and beyond. to call Ruth Malinowitz to come up to the stage. Just want to add that I think I speak on behalf of everybody here uh, that the highlight of the evening last year at the dinner was when Irving, together with Ruth, joined us for the dinner. And it really brought joy, it brought hope, and it brought a sense of comfort to all of us. And his memory lives with all of us. It should be a blessing for the family, for the Tzibor, and for all of Klal Yisrael. The presentation that we're giving to Ruthie tonight reads, so appropriately, whoever honors the Torah is himself honored by mankind. Presented to Ruth Malinowitz in memory of your beloved husband, our honored friend, Irving Malinowitz, for dedication and devotion as a founder of our shul and our community. Congregation-based Torah, 2016, 5776.